Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic the validate scope process of project management. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam of PMP in near future. So let's start first of all. I request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. Friend, validate scope is the process of formalizing acceptance of the completed project deliverables. A process that shows the stakeholders have received what was agreed upon and formalizes their approval. It is primarily concerned with the recognition of the product by validating each deliverable. This particular process is necessary for creating different documents like project and document updates, work performance information, accepted deliverables and change request. Since the validated scope process mainly focus on the deliverables, the verified deliverables are obtained from the control quality team. The deliverables are reviewed with the customer to ensure that they have been satisfactorily completed before they are received formally by the customer. Different outputs of the project management knowledge area are treated as the baselines for the final acceptance of the deliverables like a scope baseline and work performance data. So uh, the first input for this process is project management plan. Basically friend, the project management plan contains the scope management plan which helps in specifying how formal acceptance of the completed project deliverables will be obtained. Then project document is also very important um, input for this process. Then verified deliverables. Verified deliverables are a process where, where the deliverables are completed and checked internally for correctness and quality through the control quality uh, process. Work performance data. Now, the work performance data includes a degree of compliance with requirements, the number and the severity of non-confirmation. The tools for this process. First tool is the inspection. Basically inspection is the process of examining the work product to determine if it adheres to the documented standards. The results of an examination generally include measurements and may be conducted at any level. Inspections are sometimes also called reviews, product reviews, audits and walkthroughs. Decision making techniques. The decision making technique evaluates alternative in a group setting and reaches an agreement leading to a final decision which will cater to delivering the desired objectives. The output of this whole process is basically first one is the accepted deliverable. Accept accepted deliverables are the deliverables that meet the acceptance criteria of the project management plan and are approved by the appropriate stakeholders. Getting approval is the primary output of this process and is typically performed by the project manager, the customer, the sponsor and the functional or operational manager. Work performance information. Information about which deliverables have been started, their progress, which deliverables have been finished or which have been accepted. The work performance information process takes place at every particular stage of the project lifecycle. Change request. It is assumed that all final deliverables would be entirely accepted by the stakeholders and such unaccepted deliverables are documented along with the reason for non-approval. In such cases, the deliverables will require changes and that is when the process of a change request will come into effect to repair the defect. After the change request is executed, they are reviewed through perform integrated change control process method. Last one, last output is the project document updates. Documents that define the product or report the status of the product upon completion. Verified product documents, project documents may require approval from the customer or a sponsor in the form of signature or sign offs. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with the friends and colleagues. And thank you for watching the thanks for watching the video.